getting past hard. You know, that was our theme of the summer. You know, my freshman was hard. Sometimes I was tired. I didn't want to practice. I didn't want to go to class. And, you know, just setting your mind to mentally, staying mentally strong, you know, telling, and staying in a positive place, and it can really help you. Because once you start, you know, uh, getting negative thoughts and saying you're tired, and it's like your, your mind tell, tells your body that you're tired, and really you're not really tired. So it's like getting past hard. You know, I think uh, a lot of people, uh, when things tend, uh, don't go their way, they, they stop trusting the process, and, you know, they start going down this wrong path things like that so I just need to stick with my process you know um, and try to find and try to find a way to separate separate myself from uh, every other college athlete you know as far as like you know getting extra work in, you know uh, watching more film so I, I have to be different in a way you know taking pride of being a Longhorn you know every time I step out on the floor I'm giving it a hundred percent because you know it's like you said great to who were before me who paved the way who paved the way before, uh, for me so it's like I'm, I'm taking pride you know being a Longhorn you know I'm representing uh, the school well. You know 18 years old is a it's a pretty self-absorbed age and I think the biggest growth that Eric has made in one year is is understanding what's going on around him and having a greater awareness of first himself but then also his teammates and um, just the environment around him. So I think that's where he's made the biggest growth. These guys come from high school where they're unquestionably the best player and um, they're sometimes put on a pedestal where they can do no wrong and then they come here and we have to hold them accountable uh, and I think part of the transformation is learning that accountability is actually a good thing because it can help you grow. I think Eric is a perfect example of what Shaka spoke to his first press conference. Uh, I was very lucky to meet both Shaka and Smart and Charlie Strong before I became athletic director here. Uh, with Charlie, it was an introduction I did uh, for an event on campus uh, uh, in his first couple of months here. And with Shaka uh, and the basketball program and the players like Eric, uh, I knew something great was going to happen. Uh, fact that is to back up what, what, what Shaka has put in place and what, what Eric and others are benefiting from. It, it truly is uh, a desire to help a student in the entire process, not just the short time they're here, but to help them uh, later in life uh, because I swear to you, competition does end. <laughs> there comes a day when you can't play anymore. You know, the, ba uh, the uh, basketball is, is going to stop bouncing sooner or later. You know, it may, you may make it to the next level, you may not. So it's like, you need that education, you know, that fallback, you know, to go in your career because you can't play basketball forever. Thanks to the University of Texas and the Big 12, I am a champion for life.